life can be so worth it. Hi guys, welcome back. So today is a very special day. It's World Suicide Prevention Day. So I asked you guys what you wanted to see for today, for this special day. And you guys wanted to see all the reasons I'm glad that I'm still alive. If you don't know me, hi, my name is Marika. I'm 29, no I'm not 29, I'm 21 years old. And I used to be very, very suicidal. I never attempted suicide, but I was actually hospitalized at one point because my suicidal risk was too high to stay at home. So I never attempted suicide, but I was pretty close a couple of times and I have felt very, very suicidal and I have wanted to die many times. So today, in honor of World Suicide Prevention Day, I wanted to tell you all the reasons why I'm glad I didn't attempt suicide and I am still alive. I don't want to make it sound like life is always super easy and pink and fluffy and no, life can be very hard, life can, life can be a bitch, but it's so worth it to stick by and it's so worth it to keep going. And that's the message I want to send. So from a former suicidal person to you, here are all the reasons, or I should say some of the reasons, there are more reasons than that, but those are the big reasons why I'm glad I'm still alive today. And please, as you're watching this video, please leave your reasons why you're glad you're alive in the comments so we can all cheer ourselves along. First one is super cliche, I know, but it's very true, is I wouldn't have met my boyfriend if I had died. I met my boyfriend four years ago and we've been together ever since and it's such a beautiful relationship and we bring so much to one another, so much love, so much understanding, so much everything. And obviously if I had died, I wouldn't have met him and I wouldn't have experienced this beautiful relationship that I'm in and I wouldn't have brought to him all this joy that we mutually bring each other and all this love and everything. So I know very cliche but one of the first reasons is that I wouldn't have met my boyfriend if I was dead. Second reason is that if I had died, I would have brought so much sadness and stress to my family and loved ones. Losing a loved one to anything is a very, very distressing time, a very sad time. And I know that when you're very, very suicidal, this is not something you're in the headspace to think about because your own pain is so, so high and you feel so bad and you sometimes don't think that others care about you and all of that, but when you're a bit more clear-headed, um, you can see that those people really care about you and that you would have caused them so much distress and trauma by taking your own life. And I'm really glad I didn't do that. Third reason is a bit more silly, but I wouldn't have experienced rat cuddles if I died. Look at that cuddly boy. Pretty cute, huh? I'm glad I experienced that. Fourth reason why I'm glad I didn't die is that I wouldn't have dealt and understood what I was dealing with. I would have just quit, which at the time seemed like the best option because it was just so overwhelming and so big that I didn't think I could deal with it and I didn't think I could understand it. But now that I'm on the other side of this issue, I am so glad that I took the opportunities that I had to understand what was going on, to express myself on what was going on. And it was so hard at times, but it was so worth it and it made me grow as a person so much and I'm really glad I did it. Fifth reason why I'm glad I didn't die is that I couldn't have helped all the people that I've helped with my work on here with self harm problems. Now I know that I'm not, I'm not Bill Gates, I'm not a multi-billion uh, charity thing, I'm just a girl on my corner of the internet doing what I can, but I still receive a few messages, a very few messages of people that I have helped, that I've inspired and if I was dead, I couldn't have had this opportunity of helping people like I do now. And although I know and I'm conscious that this is a very small help that I can give to the world, it's, it's very small, it's only what I can do with my, my own means. But I'm so glad that even if it's so small, I am able to do this difference in the world of mental health. And obviously if I was dead, I couldn't do that. And the last reason is that if I was dead, I couldn't accomplish any of my life dreams and goals. Now, obviously, when I was very suicidal, those weren't goals that were appealing to me anymore. 
I didn't think I would be able to go through them. I didn't want them anymore because nothing in life seemed like a good idea and nothing seemed appealing and that's just, that's just how suicide ide suicidal ideation and depression works. Nothing seems appealing anymore. But now that I'm not depressed anymore and now that I'm not suicidal anymore and haven't been for quite a long time now, a few years, I'm so glad that I still have the opportunity of having a family, having kids, going to Australia one day, getting tattoos, getting doing all these things that I really wanted to do and that I couldn't have done if I had taken those opportunities away from me by dying. And like I said, when I was in, in a suicidal state, those aren't things I was thinking about. Not because I was dumb or because I was selfish, but because I was feeling so bad that I couldn't think about anything else than, than how bad I felt at that moment. So there it is, those are my main reasons why I'm glad I'm still alive. Like I said, it's not all of my reasons, I have lots of tiny reasons why I'm glad I'm alive every day, but those are the big ones that I could think of off the top of my head. And once again, I don't want to make it seem like life is so cheery and beautiful and never hard, because life can be very very hard sometimes, but there's still light through the dark and please, if you're suicidal, hang in there. I'm gonna leave suicide prevention resources and hotlines and all of that in the description. If you need them, please reach out to them, reach out to your family doctor, reach out to your nurse, reach out to your family, reach out to anyone that could help you, please, because you can bring so much to the world and the world can bring so much to you too. And losing those opportunities would be very sad. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today. If you want to chat with me or if you want to see daily content from me, you can hit me up on Instagram. Link is in the description. As always, I answer to every DM I get, not super fast, but I do answer to everyone. If you like this video, please give it a like, comment, subscribe, share it so I can gain more visibility here on YouTube. And I will see you very soon. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.